enroll your child for the manifested e-learning platform and see their grades grow tremendously. These videos can be downloaded to a laptop for offline viewing or viewed from a smartphone in a course-friendly format. Hello learners and welcome to Manifested e-learning platform. Today I'm going to introduce a new topic which is known as food nutrients. Food nutrients. Learners, welcome to the lesson. The subject is science. Science and the topic is food nutrients. Food nutrients. Food nutrients. This is a new topic. Now, learners, by the end of this topic, it is expected that uh, you should uh, be able to, number one, state the nutrients found in various foods. Number two, you should be able to state the importance of water and fiber in a diet. Number three, you should be able to identify some nutritional deficiency diseases, their causes, and symptoms. Then you should be able to describe measures for their prevention. Measures for their prevention. So that is what we are expected to cover in this topic known as food nutrients. Food nutrients. So learners, food is what people or animals eat or drink. I want you to write down that point. Food, food is what people or animals eat or drink. What people or animals eat or drink. Like, like, I have some foods here. Tomatoes, tomato. Okay, this one, animals eat. Uh, people also eat tomatoes. Then I have, uh, I have, uh, what do you call this? Lemon. This is lemon. I have a small egg. This is a, an egg. Okay. Then I have garlic. This is food. I have ginger. This is what you call ginger. This is food that people eat. I have turmeric. Then I have some fish, small fish. Anas, I have small fish. This is, they are, they are called fish, small fish. Omena fish. This is omena fish. So these are food. This is food. This is what people eat. This is what people eat. So what people eat or drink is what we are referring to us as food. People also drink. I have a glass of milk. Glass of milk. This is food. This is what people drink. Animals also drink milk. Okay, like cat. Uh, they also drink milk. And as I have something here also, what people eat. Some of you may have eaten this one. This is sugar cane. People eat. Okay? You remove the, the peel, then you eat. Okay? Sugar cane. Anas. So food, I have just raised uh, some of the foods that people eat. I have said food is what people or animals 
eat or drink. So learners, I want you to write another sentence about plants. You can also say, what plants take in to maintain life? What plants take in to maintain life and growth is also food? Okay, what plants take in? I want you to write what plants take in what plants take in to maintain life and growth to maintain life and growth is also food so plants also learners they need food but we don't say plants eat food we say plants take in food take in food what plants take in to maintain life and growth is also known as food so food is important to people animals and plants people animals and plants these are living things for them to live and grow they need food they need food animals and people eat and drink food but animal uh, plants take in take in food to maintain their life and also growth is that clear learners food is very important without food plants cannot survive without food people and animals cannot live so learners learners the process of providing or receiving food is called nutrition the process of providing or receiving food is called nutrition i want to try it down the process of doing what of providing and receiving food is known as nutrition is known as nutrition from the word nutrients we get the word nutrition and an expert an expert an expert in nutrition is called a nutritionist an expert an expert in nutrition is known as a nutritionist some of you when you grow up after you have completed your school some of you may end up being nutritionist so an expert in nutrition an expert in the process of of providing and receiving food is known as a, a, a nutritionist is that clear learners the process of providing or receiving food is called nutrition and an expert in nutrition is called a nutritionist okay so learners nutrient nutrient or nutrients nutrient is is the useful part of food nutrient learners nutrient is the useful part in food nutrient nutrient is the useful part of food or in food okay is the useful part let's let me use a, use 
of okay the useful part of food okay uh, now learners these are very important definitions that i want you to write down nutrient is the useful part of food an expert in nutrition is known as a nutritionist the process of providing and receiving food is known as nutrition okay then learners learners the food or foods required by our bodies the food learners the foods required by our bodies the food required by my body this one this body and that body your body are classified into three groups are classified into three groups depending on how they help the body okay depending on what on how they help the body so i want you to write down another important sentence another important sentence that that the the foods required learners the foods required the foods required by our bodies our i'm talking of people when i say our i'm referring to people the foods required by our bodies are classified into three groups are classified into three groups are classified into into three groups depending on how they help the body depending depending on how they help the body three groups three groups classified into three groups depending on how they help the body so we are going to name these three groups these three groups this three groups are a learners the first one is energy giving foods energy giving foods b there are three groups of foods that uh, we eat and they are classified depending on how they help our bodies then you have body building foods body building foods then there is protective protective foods so learners there are those foods that we eat that give us energy we are calling them energy giving foods then there are those foods that we eat that give, that that help us to build our bodies building we are calling them body building foods then there are those foods learners that help us protect our bodies we are calling them protective foods protective food so we are going to define these uh, foods let's begin with energy energy giving foods what are these foods how do we define these foods how do we define energy giving foods energy giving foods learners are those foods that release useful energy 
when broken down in the body. I repeat, energy giving foods are those foods that release useful energy when broken down in the body. These are those foods which release useful energy when broken down in the body. You know, learners, when we, when we eat food, that food is broken down through the process we call digestion. So after breaking that food down, the body will now get energy from such food. Now, learners, this energy, we are talking of energy. This energy, this energy helps the body to do work. It helps the body to remain active. Okay? And also to function properly. To function properly in all activities. Like you see, I'm standing here is because I have eaten energy-giving food. Before I came here, I took food. Why did I take food? Because for me to stand for a long time, I need, my body needs energy. Because that energy helps me to, 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 to walk. Because you see, I've been walking here. I've been walking this side. I've also come this side. I've also used some energy to lift. I, to lift. You see, this thing is heavy. I need some energy to lift these items. Learners, I need energy to, to write. Even writing on board, I need some energy. There are people who cannot raise their hands. So for me to raise my hand, to write, to rub the board, to walk, I need energy. And where did I get this energy? This energy, I got it from the food that I ate before I came to this class. So energy giving foods, they do what? They help the body to work. They also help the body to remain active and function properly in other activities. Even including yourself, if you are listening to me, you sit down, you are writing. You cannot write when you have no energy in your body. That's why students will give you time sometimes to go for lunch. Before you come to class in the morning, you need to take some food, what, which we call breakfast. Then you are, after you've attended classes during lunchtime, you also take some break, go and take food. Because if you don't take food, then you, know, you may not be able to pay attention when the teacher is teaching. You may not be able to write. That's why students who don't take food some of them sleep, some of them doze because they cannot, their bodies cannot function properly. So that is the importance of energy giving foods. Then learners, we have body building foods. Body building foods. Body building Foods, body building foods. Even the name helps us understand. These are foods that help to build the body. They help, they help learners, uh, uh, they help to, the, the body to build. They help the body, the best way to put it is to say, these foods help the body help the body to build new cells, okay, for growth and repair. These are foods. Let me write. That help 
the body to build new cells and do what? What did I say? I said these are foods that help the body to, 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 to build uh, new cells. All right? To build new cells. I need to write new cells. Because cells wear out. So cells are supposed to be renewed. So the bodybuilding foods helps the body to build new to build new cells. This helps help the body to grow. That is new cells for for growth. And also, other than just growth, the body sometimes needs to repair. Okay, and repair. those parts that are worn out. Repair the worn out. There are those parts that can get worn out or there are those parts or tissues that can get damaged. Worn out or damaged tissues. Tissues of the body that are damaged or that are worn out can be repaired by eating bodybuilding foods body building foods now learners bodybuilding foods also helps also helps uh, the body in reproduction they also help the body in reproduction then we have protective foods protective protective Foods, protective foods. What are these protective foods? Now, protective foods learners help the body to defend itself against diseases. Protective foods, protective foods help the body to defend itself against diseases. Against diseases, learners. There are diseases outside. There are bacteria outside there, outside the body. There are viruses outside the body. Okay? So, the body needs protection. Where does that protection come from? That protection comes from foods that help the body to defend itself against, against diseases. All right? Now, these diseases, learners, these diseases are caused sometimes by lack of certain nutrients in the body. There are some diseases that may be caused by deficiency or lack of some nutrients in the body. If some nutrients are not taken, if the body does not receive certain nutrients, then that body will easily get diseases. Okay? So protective foods help the body to defend itself against diseases, and these diseases are known as, uh, let me just write, diseases known as, known as deficiency, known as deficiency diseases. When the body is deficient in certain nutrients, when the body does not have certain nutrients. Learn as the body was made to operate in a certain way. The body was made to have certain nutrients, okay? Certain nutrients like iron, potassium, vitamins, and all that on daily basis. Uh, starch, carbohydrates, okay? 
those are foods but there are, there are certain foods also which the body needs so that so that the body can can defend itself against diseases we are calling deficiency diseases now these diseases are caused we've said by lack of certain nutrients in the body so these protective foods learners also help the body to produce certain special cells. This we'll be learning later. Okay, the, the protective foods that are required in the production of certain cells. So we have defined three groups of foods in our today's lesson. Energy giving foods, body building foods, and protective foods. That will mark the end of our today's lesson. Uh, we introduced a new topic which is known as food nutrients. Food nutrients. We introduced this topic known as food nutrients. We've said that food is what people or animals eat or drink. We also say that other than animals and people, plants also take in foods to uh, maintain life and to grow. We learned today also that the process of providing food and receiving food is known as nutrition. Uh, an expert in nutrition, we said, is known as a nutritionist. And nutrient, we said, is the use of, uh, is the useful part, is the useful part of food. Then we went to a very important section in the, uh, today's lesson where we say that the foods required by our bodies are classified into three groups depending on how they help the body. And these are the three groups, energy-giving foods, the bodybuilding foods, and protective foods. Then we have defined the three groups of foods. So that marks the end of our today's lesson. Learners. Do you have any question? If you have any question, please feel free to ask your questions. Below this video, there is a comment section where you can send your question. Please send your questions and we'll answer your questions. For now, we are going to take a break. But before we close the lesson, I'm going to give you an assignment. Revision question. This is the today's revision. Question. Find the following foods, A, energy-giving foods, B, bodybuilding foods, C, protective foods. That is your assignment. Make sure your assignment is done before coming to our next lesson where we continue to learn more about food nutrients. For now, I'll say Bye-bye. Manifested Publishers Limited is a research and teaching center that specializes in the production of learning materials and private online tuition for primary, secondary, tertiary, and university education. Sign up as a new customer at www.manifestedpublishers.com. Fill in the required credentials, full name, email, phone number, and password. Click on Sign Up. Enter the code received on your phone or email address for verification of your account, then proceed by clicking on confirm button. Your account is ready for use and you can watch some free videos before you purchase. To get access to complete videos, use the following steps to buy. Click on view all courses. Select the course you want to subscribe to. Click on the subject you want. Click on buy this subject. The selected subject will be added to cart. Place or hover the cursor on cart or total amount and click on check out now to proceed. Click on Lipa na Mpesa and proceed to pay. To access your lessons, place the cursor on your name, then click on subscriptions. To download videos for offline studying, 
click on watch offline download the manifested e-learning desktop application depending on your computer operating system install the application on your computer sign in on your downloaded app using the credential used during registration place your casa on your name then click on subscriptions click on the subject you purchased on the top right window click on download for offline viewing click on go to course in your new window click on the first topic lesson one downloading process begins automatically thank you for choosing to study with us for more information you can call us on 0724 173845